ever been in our house because we travel so much. Yeah. And so it's it's really mm-hmm. funny. <laughs> Where are you guys looking forward to traveling to next as soon as this stuff calms down? Like literally anywhere outside of <laughs> Are we all gonna go to like Ibiza and like, you know, I'm super sun? down. <laughs> Soup's down. Uh, I would love to. Mm-hmm. That'd be so much fun. We're gonna be so ready for a trip. So keep us posted so on if you're going I mean, I'd somewhere. I'd be thrilled if somebody just invited me to come over and like watch paint dry at this moment in time. Right? That know? sounds we, really fun, actually. Anything, any social <laughs> excuse, really anything. we'll be down for. Like I'll come wash your car. I'll I'll okay. do whatever <laughs> you need right now. I actually <laughs> enjoy washing my car. Yeah, you do. I do. I He's get out here. there, get some sun, put it in front of the garage, and just. I don't mind it, but like I don't like get enjoyment out of it, you know. You gotta enjoy the craft, enjoy the moment. Yeah, it's like you yeah. know he he enjoys the like every circle of the cleaning of the car, and I'm like I enjoy the sun that I'm getting. And that's about is, it. Is this with the Bronco only, or, or no. is this with? with I do it with with every vehicle. Um, fun fact: I, I just turned in the old car, the Daily Driver, and I got a new one. Um, cause I needed something. The Bronco is amazing, but not a, a reliable everyday car. So this one like went all out on. It's very, it's very nice. Very awesome. Very lucky to have it. Yeah. I was driving, uh, over to see Eugene in Malibu the other day. The only person that I'm really seeing besides this one. And I'm parked, like getting gas, going out and a little Honda Civic in front of me starts backing up to decide they don't want to wait anymore to go forward into the street, which they're halfway in. <laughs> So I'm holding down the horn, and this car that I've had for all like two weeks Get just hit. backs right into it. Yeah. No. Yeah. What an inconvenient time for that. Oh, <laughs> like, it, yeah, exactly. Like, there's not a lot of places open, and we've already been back to the dealership twice with this car. So it's, yeah. uh, it's not. Eugene was food. telling me he just got a new car as well. Uh, he's he's ordered on one. Yeah. He, he's he's okay. ordered one that's that's so custom that they're they have to like find. There's like two in the United States, I guess. So. Um, <laughs> you know, Eugene lives a, he lives lives a, a good hard life. life yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. What are you drinking? Is that beer? Carolina. Or? What's Water. up? I'm on, a, I'm on a diet right now. <laughs> what guy? Quarantine <laughs> and diet? That sounds awful. Oh my God. I'm, I, I'm a real B-I-T-C-H <laughs> around right now. I'm doing this like fat burn thing. I don't know. It's more like a social experiment for me to see how I do mentally. It's because you it's can't do like anything else social? You have to do a social but, experiment. Uh, very social, me and my internal battles. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I got I got a big thing of celery today. That was exciting. celery. That's just that's good. For that's you. fun. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're attempting this this food delivery service because we were both just over nonstop cleaning the kitchen. It's, it's so, so serious. It's so annoying. We were doing with just cleaning the kitchen. Oh my god! It's uh, not even cooking. It's that you clean every day. Every we're doing day. the dishes every day. And he eats so much that it's not like I can just make one pan of something. I have like six <laughs> pans going. Yeah, they're like 14 I do that pounds twice of a day meat. never leave the kitchen. It's so bad. I know literally, and you cook and clean. It's like by the time I'm done cooking, cook he's already ate the too, food. Right. And then it's time to clean. And I'm like, no, no, no. Not Martha Stewart is taking some time off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what are you guys doing? You you told me you were doing Sun Basket or? Sun Fair. Sun, sun, sun Fair, okay. Fair. And then are you doing something different? No, well, I'm doing the same thing, but they have a, a, a program for athletes. Oh, nice. So it's like more they protein and put stuff. Them on a diet. <laughs> yeah, they put me on a diet last week, and I was so hungry. It was not even funny. I was like, no. wow. I, I called them. I was like, did, was, was something wrong? Like, did we, did we have something miscommunication? Something. And am I on the wrong plan? They're like, oh, yeah, for some reason, you're on the this diet plan. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we had you calories cool. efficient by 4,000 calories a day. I'm so surprised you're, you're still live, alive. We're eating the same food, but like Pretty very close. different Almost. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. That's but not going to work. The last couple of days, I've had to watch him order in freaking pad thai and Mexican food while I'm over here eating my raw vegetable. <laughs> Being like, oh, so full. We <laughs> definitely ordered a fat tray of Mexican the other day. Like, I'm talking like We, we ordered enough for style. six families. Yeah. And it was so yeah, good. I, just about all of it. Mm-hmm. I had a rack of ribs, some bacon building blocks, and some jalapeno deviled eggs. For Back you up right there. What is Where a bacon building it? block? It was, so it's these chunks of bacon that are literally like, the size of have you ever seen those big die like those big dice yeah yeah They're about this big almost that you would but hang it's all from, your, from so it's your like mirror. A good good chunk of the pig yeah there was <laughs> double double hickory smoked 
bacon building blocks. Now I understand why you're on a diet. No, no, he's not I, on a I diet. don't need to be on a diet. I was going to say, you don't need to be on any diet. No. Maybe, like, right. cut back on the sodium. I, 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 I he doesn't like Yeah, he I'm not a salt guy. Really? Salt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sweet. Like, I'm a sweet I girl. Like anything fun. You, like a, you like a fruit. That is your I, ideal yeah, my, dessert. My ideal dessert is. Well, and Liz, you said you're doing your diet because you can't exercise right now, right? Yeah, so I hurt my back really bad at the beginning of this. Oh, and, that's no fun. Um, people don't know that I have an autoimmune disease. And so I had a really, really bad flare-up. And I had basically up until last week, I wasn't able to get out of bed. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. So it, so it's been really, really rough. But um, finally, I, I ended up going to the doctor, and they put me on some medication. So I'm finally up and moving. And this is just something that's kind of like a reset for me to just kind of yeah. get really healthy. And, and then I'll start eating normally again, like, I don't think there's any sort of thing that's like a quick fix. Like, I don't believe in that for diets. I think, you know, um, eating healthy is like a lifestyle choice and there's not something that's just going to fix you overnight. No. And so I'm definitely not looking at that as this. It's more of like, I'm thinking of it as a little short cleanse and something that's going <laughs> to challenge me mentally. And then I can't wait to get back to eating my pasta. Are you still <laughs> having wine? No, I can't drink. I was going to say, can you drink? Wow. No. So it's really disgusting so both okay. of you. <laughs> I tried to do a whole month sober. It sounds so bad that I can't even do this. But I tried, I attempted to do it, and then I lasted, just, I think, three days. There was one day when I was just like, I just need Probably the wine. Done. I really need the yeah. wine. You know, when you put your mind to something, there's just about nothing you can't accomplish. But clearly, sobriety is one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm going for another two weeks right now. So we're trying. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We've um, been having passion fruit margaritas, and they are so good. Good. We want to feel like we're back in Tulum, which yeah. is the last trip we took. And uh, That's a lie. Mexico City was the last trip we took. But right. yeah, but same thing. Close enough. <laughs> I attempted to make a tequila old-fashioned yesterday. Ooh. How's was it like muddled out? cherries and? No, no, it was base. It was weird. It, it was basically just tequila, agave, and bitters. Okay, interesting. I overdid it on the agave. So it's like a sugar in your mouth. So then I just kept pouring tequila in, and then it just it wasn't good. So I it, had was to shug it. <laughs> it was just tequila. It was just tequila. Hope you didn't waste. It. <laughs> no. Tell me about the drink, the cocktail that you like to make, the, your specialty cocktail, your kombucha one. Oh well, that that one's good. I kombucha. I've been I, my favorite is is the the GTS trilogy kombucha. Yeah. Or they have solid. the watermelon one. Oh. And I make kombucha margaritas with it. 